Amanda, in your own time, tell me the first thing you remember. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 victims who actually escaped their traps and saw. I think we're breaking up with you, Tina. I did. Okay, listen, stay here. Don't touch anything. For this list, we'll be looking at characters throughout this horror franchise who either made it out of their traps successfully or survived on the basis of someone else's actions. How do you think you would do in a saw trap? Let us know in the comments below. Now on to the top 10. Number 10. Brenda Saw 4 Brenda found herself the target of Jigsaw by acting as a pimp and forcing young women into prostitution. Brenda served as part of Daniel Riggs' test, and she was attached to a particularly nasty chair. Once the pig mask was pulled off her head, her scalp was slowly peeled away by her hair. <laughs> what is that? After a bout of panicking, Daniel was successfully able to locate the combination for the lock and free Brenda from the contraption. Okay, listen. Stay here. Don't touch anything. And while Brenda later died from attacking Daniel, itself a part of Brenda's test, she did survive the trap itself. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Number 9. Art Blank. Saw 4. Art Blank found himself in a particularly scary trap in Saw 4. He awoke with his mouth sewn shut alongside Trevor, who had his eyes sewn shut. Who's that? Talk to me! What are you doing? Talk to me! The two were shackled together in a mausoleum, and the key for Art's lock was found on Trevor's neck. Art needed to communicate with Trevor, despite his unfortunate inability to speak. Stop it! Stop. However, Trevor panicked and attacked Art, causing Art to defend himself by killing Trevor. This completed, Art was finally able to free himself using the key. He would later die, but his first test proved a success, minus the shredded mouth and gaping leg wound. Number 8. Brad and Ryan – Saw 3D Somebody help us! Brad and Ryan were two men who were infatuated with Dina and committed crimes on her behalf. They were captured and subjected to a public trap in the Welthammer store. She is toxic, and today, all of your transgressions will be made public. The men were attached to contraptions holding circular saw blades, and Dina was suspended above them on a metal plate. Brad and Ryan were forced into a reverse tug of war, as one needed to push the circular saw into the other. If both failed, then Dina would die. Realizing that they were both played by Dina, a vengeful Brad and Ryan decided to sacrifice her life for their own. I think we're breaking up with you, Dina. Number 7. Malik Scott and Britt Stevenson Saw 5 Malik and Britt were kidnapped and tortured for being involved in a deadly apartment fire that killed eight people. They found themselves tested numerous times through Saw 5, with the last being particularly gruesome. Both Malik and Britt were forced to shove their arms into spinning saw blades and fill a beaker with 10 pints of blood. After the beaker was filled, the blades stopped and the trap released both Malik and Britt, resulting in their survival and rescue at the hands of Dan Erickson. Malik's arm was saved despite being utterly mangled, and he later joined a self-help group of fellow Jigsaw survivors. Number 6. Logan Nelson – Jigsaw Logan Nelson served as a major part of John Kramer's life by negligently mislabeling Kramer's X-ray, which delayed his timely cancer diagnosis. Logan was placed in the buckethead trap on Tuck's pig farm, but woke up too late, thereby missing the essential clue of the trap. However, Kramer eventually saved Logan himself by stopping the trap and releasing him from the bucket. According to him, Logan shouldn't have to die over an honest mistake. Logan proceeded to serve as Jigsaw's partner and eventual successor, even working on the reverse bear trap that would eventually ensnare Amanda in the first movie. Together, we built a legacy. Number 5. Peter Strom, Saw 5 Serving as the main protagonist of Saw 5, Peter Strom found himself in a trap involving a glass cube placed over his head. After attempting to force the cube open, it began to fill with water. This one serves as a horrible combination of claustrophobia and fear of drowning, and we want absolutely no part of it. 
Unfortunately, Peter was not able to complete the test successfully. Fortunately, he was good at thinking on his feet and literally performed a tracheotomy on himself with a ballpoint pen. Talk about a resourceful dude. It allowed Peter to breathe underwater and gave him enough time to be saved by paramedics. Number four, Mark Hoffman, Saw 6. Mark Hoffman is a recurring character throughout the Saw franchise, having starred as the primary antagonist in Saw 4 through 7. Maybe you should stick to the heavy lifting. Mark found himself in a modern version of the reverse bear trap in Saw 6, although Jill had no intention of allowing him to survive. As such, Mark was never provided a key for his escape. However, Mark is another resourceful character and managed to prevent the trap from springing by holding it between two metal bars. While the trap tore his cheek apart, he was able to remove his head from the contraption and quickly went into hiding and alive. If not entirely free, man. Number 3. Eric Matthews, Saw 3. Eric Matthews is another recurring character having served as the protagonist of Saw 2 through 4. At the end of Saw 2, Eric is imprisoned in the same filthy bathroom in which Adam and Gordon were tested. He used the toilet tank that Adam used to bludgeon Zepp to break his foot and release himself from the shackle. He was subsequently able to fight off Amanda and survive her murder attempt, all despite his mangled foot and he was eventually found by Mark Hoffman and taken to a cell. He survived Saw 2 and 3, but his luck ultimately ran out in Saw 4. Number 2, Amanda Young, Saw. Hello, Amanda. You don't know me, but I know you. I want to play a game. Speaking of Amanda, she was one of the most prominent survivors of Jigsaw. Equipped with the famous reverse bear trap, Amanda was forced to dig the accompanying key out of Donnie Greco's stomach. Greco was paralyzed, allowing Amanda to cut open his stomach and retrieve the swallowed key. She unlocked the device just before it sprang open. Horrified by what she had encountered and what she was forced to do, Amanda fled to the police and was subsequently questioned by Detective Tapp. Grateful, Mandy. He helped me. Of course, Amanda would have a far bigger role to play in the movies to come. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Dr. Lawrence Gordon, Saw. Every day of your working life, you have given people the news that they're gonna die soon. Now you will be the cause of death. It all started with Lawrence Gordon and Adam Stanhyke. Adam wasn't as lucky as he was shot by Gordon and eventually suffocated by Amanda. On the other hand, Gordon proved so desperate to save his family that he sawed his own foot off with a provided hacksaw. Even to this day, it's arguably the franchise's most famous scene. Even though it's incredibly tame by modern Saw standards, oh, what are you doing? The now footless Gordon managed to crawl out of the room and cauterize his stump on a steaming pipe, giving him enough time to be rescued and treated by Jigsaw. You survived. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.